Well, okay. what about this guy, Paddy Dangerfield? We're just speaking about him before. He did it all last night. Went forward early, kicked four goals in the first half when the game needed to be won, and he joins us on Triple M Football now. Paddy, congratulations. Thanks, B. Thanks, having me, boys. Yeah, just we're just talking about the move forward. Was all that brought about by the fact that Lonigan didn't play and it forced Taylor to move, or was that pre-planned for you to do that all week? No, that was pre-planned uh, from the uh, I think it was Wednesday that we had our oppo analysis, and uh, that was the way that we were going to line up and um, it was always going to be a bit of horses for courses depending on the flow of the game and how we were travelling but uh, it worked well which is pleasing. Yeah it is indeed. Well talk about the team. I know you don't like to talk about yourself too much but we're, we're going to uh, just uh, you know you did You don't the mind game. it Danger. You don't mind it Danger if we well, just. Well uh... to take a leaf from your book so I'm very happy <laughs> to talk about myself. Yes. You know, you know. Now listen <laughs> how <laughs> difficult was it to um, maintain your position and not get sucked up into, uh, you know, up up the field with the rest of the players, to hold back and force yourself to stay back? That wasn't too hard, Brian, to be honest. (laughs) 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 He just stood in the goal square, Brian. (laughs) 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 We've got some gremlins coming through the system here. Danger, apologies. uh, Danger, just... uh... What sort of show are you running this for? (laughs) (laughs) That's a good question. Uh, danger. There are some blokes that should do the talking and have got the sort of uh, you know, real sort of elite uh, smarts to do it and get away with it. And then there are other blokes like Jerker who um, just uh, <laughs> got in front of a microphone last week. I'm just going to play you a little snippet of what he had to say. Uh, Leroy, Josh Jenkins. They do have to get there first, so it's, you know they've got to take care of their business. But if if uh, if he marches into town with his with his Geelong teammates, there'll be nothing better than than beating him and reminding him that perhaps he should have stuck around with us and he could be a Brownlow medalist and a premiership player. Danger. Getting uh, rather ahead of himself, the uh, the great man, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> Those comments wouldn't have sat well with you, Danger. I don't reckon. I wasn't thrilled about them, uh, JB. But mind you, I do know JJ obviously extremely well. And uh, the, the great thing about JJ, he calls it as he, say, he sees it. He never, uh, he never sugarcoats anything or, or toes the party line in terms of messaging. I think we've got too many players that uh, are too nervous to, you know, to voice their true feelings. But uh, I'm looking forward to matching up on him this week, JB. Now, Danger, you gave credit to everybody else after the game in the post-match interview oh, by yeah. yourself. You mentioned every other person, but... Let's be honest, Danger. If you weren't out there last night to get that show going, Geelong don't win. <laughs> I've been uh, keeping account of your uh, self-congratulator of the year, Brownie. So <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where my what I'd be paying if I was on that leaderboard. But uh, sure. I think it's just it's good. <laughs> it's, it's just good to contribute, and uh, it would have been great to kick a bit straighter. But um, uh, it's nice to play down there. Danger, what afterwards, please? Did you stay up at Crown Towers and just uh, ease yourself into one of the nice coffee shops around there or back to Mogs? What have you done with yourself? No, I was at, uh, I was at Crown Towers last week uh, when uh, George came to the game, JB, but oh. after Brian's out last, was that? Yeah. Yeah. last yeah. week. Oh, yeah. George didn't want to listen, come to Melbourne. Now, listen, just tell me, what, why? <laughs> why did George have to go through the banner? Brian... Now, George, this George can't hear to... or speak <laughs> or see. This is probably hard for you to understand, but actually sharing the moment with someone else rather than all thinking about me, 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 <laughs> is very important for oh, players. It's not all about me, 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 me. Come on, the greatest Danger. goal kicking ever. Come on, <laughs> <Danger. that> other... <laughs> oh, I like it, Danger. So today, back to the beautiful Ponderosa and just overlooking the beach down there. Yeah, just uh, just a ponderosa at the moment, but it's bloody windy, so fifty knot southerly. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sneak over to Frankie Costa's pool in uh, Aries and uh, do a bit of recovery. Very nice, mate. Well, magnificent last night. We all uh, dare I say it, it was almost duck like. In fact, duck. Did you ever kick for oh. four in the first forty minutes of a final? Uh, yeah, I have. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Did you hear that, Danger? Against you long uh, in uh, 90, 97 prelim, and uh, how many days so, did you want it? So you're in good company, Danger. <laughs> Well, I'm happy to carry the duck bag. Well done, mate. You start. Good luck with a massive week for your footy club. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Come on, well Come on duck. Do you, to, do you want me to reel them off? Oh, I did, uh, I 97. I oh. kicks. Oh. Elimination, duck. Uh, 97, 97 against Geelong. Uh, you was finished seventh and you kicked yeah. seven. Also against the Cats in the yeah. prelim. Yeah. And, uh, Have a listen to this, Rui. I kicked six in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs>
spot in a home and away. Oh, well, it's just a home and away to make the final. Right? <laughs> oh. Six and 20 and put it out of... The game was over after 20. Have you heard of, ever heard of that? <laughs>